Welcome back to Startup Street. Amazon's biggest sale event, Amazon Prime Day, is set to begin on July 20 and 21. My colleague Aishwarya Anand spoke to Akshay Sahi, the head of Amazon Prime Delivery and Returns Experiences, on what to expect from this year's Prime Day. Tune into that conversation. India is gearing up for the 8th edition of its Prime Day on July 20th and 21st. The mega sale event will witness new product launches from over 400 global and Indian brands. Not only that, the e-commerce giant, which has a network of over 1 lakh sellers, will also showcase over 3,000 products from these small business owners across categories such as home, fashion and grooming. Well, last year, Amazon India stated that it clogged a peak of 22,190 orders per minute. So what is the projection for this year? Let's find out. Akshay, with uh, Prime Day, uh, you know, Amazon Prime Day launch, I want to understand from you that what kind of new launches are we going to see and which categories? Do you also plan on expanding or bringing in more categories? Thank you for having me. Um, first of all, um, this Prime Day, I think we are We've always been very excited about creating new product launches as one of the pillars for Prime Day. Um, because while we have a lot of deals-led events, and not to you know, underplay their importance, and Prime Day will have deals at the best prices of the year across all our categories, um, I think Prime, you know, new product launches is unique because it really helps members discover joy by actually discovering new products which they didn't know which were out there. Um, this year, I'm really glad to say that, in fact, First is last year, we have many more Indian and global brand brands actually launching products on Prime Day. Um, so we have over 450 plus brands, um, both Indian and, and global, which are launching. These include everything from Boat on headphones, to Samsonite on luggage, to Samsung in, on phones, um, and so many more. So I can keep going on when if I, you know, we can get a list, but um, we have new products coming from a lot of them. I think what's even more interesting to me is that, you know, more than 3,200 products will be launched by small and medium businesses for India, which are Indian, uh, which then gives us, you know, it means that Prime Day is really resonating with those brands and resonating with those members, that it's a time to discover what's the best new stuff which is coming from Indian sellers as well as global brands. So that's where we stand today. Um, you will see products launching across a host of categories. Um, I mentioned a few of them, but you know, luxury beauty is always a part of it. Um, believe it or not, groceries and everyday essentials is a part of it. Correct. So we've spoken on the brands and you've put a number to the brands, but in terms of launches, is there a number that you can put to? No, I don't think I can comment on the, the actual number of products Product which are going to launch, but let's just say they're in tens of thousands. Yeah, how many small businesses do you have on the Amazon platform? And uh, with Prime Day, uh, have you onboarded new sellers to the platform? So we have something called Karigar, right, which is for yeah. artisans. We have Saheli, which is for women entrepreneurs. We, in fact, we also have Launchpad, which is literally for Indian startups to come and, you know, showcase their products more. Um, so all of these people continue to participate in this, and Prime Day is a big event for everyone. So not only are these people coming on, but you know you can imagine that all the sellers which have joined our platforms, and we have, I can't speak to a number, but we have over a lakh sellers on the platform. I think we've declared this a long time ago as well. And that continues to rise. So everybody wants to participate in Prime Day and bring something special for our members, and that's really exciting. What kind of traction have you seen from smaller towns? If you talk about tier two, tier three, essentially the Bharat market that we call. Um, I think we've shared a lot of such information, right? Every Prime Day, we see a huge uptake um, from tier two and tier three, and it's kind of, it always kind of sounds strange to call somebody like tier two or tier three. I think as customers across the country um, get more digitized, become more comfortable with making online transactions. Prime leads that foray, right? So I think we shared even last time that two-thirds of our members joining during Prime Day are coming from smaller cities. And um, over the last year, we've continued to see that trend go on. 
help us understand the uh, the number of fulfillment centers Amazon has, and uh, you know uh, the kind of employment we've seen there. And for such an event like that, have you gone to make additional hiring? Uh, and how are you catering to that? We have. I believe 43 million cubic feet of space now to be able to store inventory from sellers and then kind of, you know, provide it fast to customers, which means you actually create this inventory pools closer to customers mm -hmm. so that we don't have to travel that much, right? So it's fast and it's actually sustainable when you do that. Um, we have fulfillment centers in 15 states. We actually have sortation centers now in 19 states. Um, we have delivery stations. Um, 1900, like approximately 2000, which we own and operate. And then we have like 28,000 partners, right? These are yeah. small businesses which help us in our last miles networks. How many orders do you clock? Like if I had to say, what's the capacity to, uh, you know, take orders per minute? So last year, I think we had shared that the most orders coming per minute um, during Prime Day was, I think, 23,000, somewhere thereabouts. Um, so, you know, our tech systems can obviously scale to be able to take those many orders, process those many payments, check out those many people, drop those many orders in our FC, etc. Um, and every day, every year, this keeps getting bigger. The sales that you clogged last year to this year, uh, what are the expectations and which segments do you think will be the driving force? I expect this Prime Day to be the biggest, the best um, Prime Day, both for our Prime members and for Amazon yet. And with that, it is a wrap on this edition of Startup Street from Shruti and me. Goodbye and many thanks for watching.